Today we're going to view Active Pulse ELA scores. So once students have completed the DORA K-12 reading assessment, you will have access to their scores. Right now I'm logged into my account on the Home tab. To um, navigate to those scores, you're going to drop down to Scores and Reports, Active Pulse ELA. Now on this screen, you're going to see the most recent assessment data. A few features before we drop down into the scores, you do have the option to navigate to additional classes. So if you've created additional classes under your account, you can just switch to them here. Right now we're viewing my third grade language arts class. As I continue to scroll down, you'll see I am on the DORA tab, and today we're going to view those scores. So starting from the left to the right, you'll see I have first name, last name, grade, test log, progress monitoring are always available to you, and we review these in additional videos. Last assessed, so I can see when that assessment was completed, along with each of the DORA subtest scores listed here. At any time, if you want to view the subtest, you simply hover over the column, and you'll see now that I'm looking at the high frequency word subtest, score range 0.5 to 3.83. So that's mid kinder to high third grade. If I'm looking at my first student here, I see that they're first grade mid year, right, with the 1.5 score. The student right below that has a 3.83. That's indicated in green, letting me know that it has a max score for that subtest. So they've reached the um, high third grade level and maxed out of that, which is great to see. So visually, you can see that very clearly. You also have some features built in here as you're viewing the subtest with the filter on the right hand side. If you quickly want to filter your group, let's say I'm getting ready to work with my third graders on high frequency words, I might want to view how students are doing um, by sorting that. So here you'll see kindergarten, mid-year, you know, first grade, and so it's in order here as students are progressing through that subtest with the green scores at the bottom. And at any time then I can filter it back by last name and I'll see the scores listed uh, for my class there. Now we are viewing grade level scores, but there is one subtest that's scored as a percentage, and that is the phonemic awareness screener. So you'll notice here the student has a 33.33%. You'll be able to dive into that score on the student's detailed report. Um, but for now, that gives you a good indicator that they were given this screener and the score that they received. If you notice the student right below, they have the letters NT, and that's indicating that it was not tested. So this screener was not open for the student. You'll see they have higher scores here in this initial subtest, so it was not open for them. So that's um, really helpful as you're viewing the scores. Um, if you see the NT there, either they didn't get to that portion of the test or it was not open for, um, you know, the computer adaptive logic did not open that portion. Now, you can make modifications to your screen across the top. So I'm hovering across the top in the blue here. You can add columns with additional information if you'd like. You'll notice now I've added weighted score, Lexile, and Lexile stretch. So if you'd like to have those and view those, you can always select them. It will stay sticky, so as you're navigating to different classes, you'll continue to view that data. On the flip side, you can also remove them. So if you just want to view the DORA subtests, you can do that by selecting those um, here across the middle. Now, class reports are listed right above that. So as you're diving into this data, there is so much available to you that we will review in additional videos as well. And on the far right hand side under reports is where you're going to access the individual reports that are all available to you as well. So to find Active Pulse ELA, again, you're going to drop down to Scores and Reports, select Active Pulse ELA, and again, you're going to see all of your most recent assessment data for your students. Thank you.